silence. She looks deep into my eyes, her mind silent. The problems in her head pile up. Again and again, she tells me how sick she is. Everything is so hard for her. Why don't you just tell me everything could be so simple, but you want to make it difficult for yourself, for yourself, for yourself, for yourself, for yourself. For yourself. Why don't you just tell me everything could be so simple, but you want to make what's up everybody welcome back to my youtube channel i appreciate that you have come back to watch my interesting vlogs today i want to bring you into our evening farm our poultry farm our routine as well as gardening routine or what we do uh, in the evening when we are at home around the poultry farm and also around the garden so i will be showing you uh how we water our plants usually we do it with our kids it is a collective effort because all of us do it and um you are going to love this vlog it is very very calming and i hope you like it if you are new please consider to subscribe and if you are returning shout out to you thanks for stopping by once again so i am here picking our veggies because i love fresh vegetables so i will be going around to pick any extras because uh we are planning to you know uh, put some uh, um uh, th there's some plants which have been affected with the uh, pests so we are going to uh put uh, irrigate them with some uh, of course some uh, pesticide which we are going to use so that the plants can continue to nourish uh, after which i'm going into the house today i feel like eating pumpkin leaves and i will be picking a few leaves to go and prepare and then i will show you my recipe my perfect recipe for the pumpkin leaves as veggies I know people use it for mokimo, but today I will show you how to use it as veggies. In Kisi land, they call it risosa. So, um, I have just finished picking the veggies. I picked leaves of sukuma, a bit of uh, spinach, and also the pumpkin leaves. What we have here now is uh, the pipe that we have drawn from our house, and we are going to use it to irrigate the plants then we also have uh, the, the pesticide that we are going to use to uh, on the on the plants because some of them have been affected by uh, let me call them what to do yeah so that is what we are doing about now with the kids as you can see they are very enthusiastic when it comes to farming they really really love to farm so um we i have just left my kids and their dad finishing up on the plants at the garden and right about now i have called my younger son we want to close the chicken in some of them are outside they don't know uh, i don't know i think the door was closed on them before they could go in so we are going to open the door so that uh, those who which will go in shall do so there are a few that we have to go pick them from where they have dozed off and put them into the um, uh, to their farmhouse to the poultry house they are then we are going to go around to pick some eggs some hens right now are incubating but uh, we usually pick those that lay in the day we pick around five eggs per day so you can be sure uh, we eat a lot of eggs eh? the protein in eggs is just awesome uh, after which i will go into the house to just uh, uh, prepare the veggies we, we we already did uh the simmer earlier because of the baby i love to cook early so i'll just be preparing the veggies and then we shall um, call it an evening have you tried to put up a kitchen a garden for yourself 
or have you tried rare chicken tell me your experience we didn't know that chicken really mature this much we started off with just a few of them now we have quite a number and maybe we will go into uh, a bigger engagement later or we will go into commercial because i know most of my neighbors here are doing commercial we are done with uh, putting uh, the chicken in we've taken a few pieces of eggs and my son is going to put the eggs on the tray where we keep them securely and i will be going ahead to prepare the pumpkin leaves i will show you how they are removed how they are prepared so while you prepare the pumpkin leaves you have to remove the, the you know like the roughness so we do this by just stretching out a few um, parts of the stalk and you are able to get a smooth uh, smooth uh, leaf so that you can prepare and cook it then I will just finish and uh, cut, wash them thoroughly because it has been raining recently and there is a lot of rain after you wash them you will uh, cut them into sizable pieces cut your onion and uh, toast the tomatoes in once they are cooked you just drop in your veggies and you know while you let them simmer they are cooking well and you can add some milk some cooking cream or some coconut milk so about now i am going to wash this thoroughly in fact i'll wash them like a cloth then i will go ahead to chop it then you will see the rest of the process Thanks for watching family. I really appreciate. Please uh, watch out for the next vlog. See you until the next one.